videotape it so you can check it out. Um, right now I'll just show you the parts that I'm going to be building. Um, CPUs I'm going to use are two um, quad core. It's going to be an eight core machine. It's going to have this skull trail, Intel skull trail motherboard. It uh, supports two quad core CPUs. It's going to be the bomb. The case I'm going to use has a, it's a sweet case. Check that out. It's a Coolmaster Cosmos. And the cooling system I'm going to use is this one here. It's a water cool. It's going to be on both the CPUs and the chipset. And what I'm not going to go into in this video is how I had to put this cooling system in it. I had to cut, cut it out, fit it, this, that. I had to take the thing completely apart. It was, it was a pain, but you know, I could do it. So anyway, this, this didn't come in the case. I put it there. So that I'm not going to show, but that's what I did. That. I have a Blu-ray disc, Blu-ray uh, DVD-ROM, a regular DVD-ROM. Card. I'm going to put the video card I'm going to put in. This is a um, NVIDIA Quattro. It's not for gaming. It's a total workstation card, although it would be, you know, adequate. Um, I'm going to have three one and a half terabyte hard drives, Seagate um, Barracuda. And the hard drives I'm going to have are two, S, uh, two um, solid state drives and a RAID 0. It's going to be sweet, super fast put the operating system on this, on this RAID 0, and then have the storage be uh, four and a half terabytes. Um, and have eight gigabytes of RAM, it's uh, unbuffered RAM, it's with, uh, or no, it's fully buffered uh, DDR2 RAM, that's what comes with this, this motherboard, and Windows XP 64-bit edition. I'm going to have 850 watt power supply. It's modular power supply. It's going to be sweet. Alright, so uh, I guess let's get started. Uh -huh. Okay, so for right now, um, what I'm going to do is the motherboard um, that I'm going to use came with this back plate specific to that motherboard. The case also came with one, which isn't going to work for that particular motherboard. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pop it out of there. It just snaps in there. Take this one out and put this one in. motherboard um, sets on these standoff, these little standoff screws, they're brass screws. These I have to screw into the case so I can put the motherboard on there. And the motherboard came with this convenient little template that I lay down on the case because inside the case there's a whole bunch of different screws, screw holes. Well, which ones to use? Well, this template says which ones to use for this particular motherboard. So I just put that in there line it up and it shows me where the screws are and screw the screw holes and so I just screw them in. And uh, in light of uh, the comments I've got on my other time I built the computer, um, you're supposed to use a, what they call like a, a grounding wire that you attach to your wrist and then you clip to some ground so you don't shock any parts. Um, I'm a, uh, 
risk taker, so I'm not going to use any of that. So you don't need to comment and tell me I'm not doing it right. And by the way, um, I'm not claiming that this is the right way, a good way, the best way, or even a correct way, but it is one way to do this. So that's the way I'm doing it now. And also, too, um, all these parts that I bought, when I bought them, um, I didn't default to what was the cheapest. I didn't even look at the prices. I, bought, uh, I defaulted to what was the fastest. So, um, I know I could have gotten all these, you know, I could have gotten a cheaper video card, a cheaper motherboard, a cheaper this, everything I could have gotten cheaper, but it would have also been slower. So, I didn't go for that. This is going to be an 8-core machine with 8 gigs of RAM with a super fast hard drive. So, it's not the cheapest way to go. <laughs> but it is the fastest. For right now. I've built over, built over, you know, over 20 computers and I've never shocked it. Besides running in Florida, 80% humidity. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna put the motherboard inside the case. I'm gonna line it up on top with the screws or the standoffs that I put in there. as well but this one won't it's way too little of a charge if you screw up any memory when you screw them in you want to screw them in as tight as you can get them Cigarettes. 